Utilizing the best innovations in one of the world's most prestigious mobility studies, the MG Cybuster marks the brand's return to the legendary roads to segment. The all-electric MG Cybuster embodies the brand's impressive heritage with modern design and an advanced TV powertrain. The Cybuster's intelligent all-electric architecture will enable an EV range of around 800 kilometers, 500 miles, and accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour, in less than 3 seconds, while the bodywork is maintained to maintain enhanced aerodynamic performance. The classically shaped M grille also serves as an air channel to allow the car's undercarriage to be accelerated. Its strong sporty profile features a two-star shoulder assembly along with a flattened camom car accentuated by unusual hacker blade alloy wheels. The taillights are an LED design and are integrated flat into the rear of the car, displaying a digital representation of MG's British heritage. It may have two doors and a folding soft top, but that's pretty much where they end. MG's new Halo model seems to have taken the weight of those expectations into its own hands and over the past decade has taken it to the next level. And can balance the scales with TF. This gives him a premium of 300 to 500 kilograms in modern football. They now come in the form of the Porsche 718 Boxster and BMW Z4, with the Cybuster conversion Mazda MX-5 price, weight and performance not even a blip on the radar anymore. Sporting aspirations aside, the Cybuster is soft enough over rough roads and quiet enough on the move to make it a pleasant cruiser or daily driver. With the roof up, road noise is very well isolated and even with the roof down and the side windows up, conversation isn't difficult. Indeed, the only blemish in the elegance book is MG's inbuilt digital soundtrack instead of engine noise that you'll almost want to turn off. The Cybuster measures 4,535 mm in length, 1,913 mm in width and 1,329 mm in height. Wheelbase, 2,690 mm. That said, the new MG is bigger than even the Jaguar F-Type in terms of size, not to mention the Mazda MX-5 or BMW Z4. This is because the Cybuster is an electric vehicle and it needs a large battery that needs to be placed between the axles to provide a reasonable range. Unfortunately, there's no word yet on battery capacity and range. The doors aren't just a concept car pipe dream, either, as MG has promised to carry them over to the production car. The sloping hood line and muscular wheel arches help make it stand out as a sports car, as do the sleek headlights. However, the Cybuster's ability to shift this load isn't limited to straight lines. Chassis tuning was overseen by Marco Fainello, the car dynamics engineer behind the Ferrari FXX and involved in all five of Michael Schumacher's Ferrari titles, the Cybuster exhibits remarkable poise and agility when driven in a hurry. On public roads, it has the handling of a car half its weight. The steering is light but provides reassuring feedback. Such is the sense of confidence and accessibility that the Cybuster imparts to its rider under hard acceleration or when going into fast, wet corners, you can't help but feel that it won't be embarrassed for at least a few laps on the track. The MG Cybuster is a two-seater with a folding soft top and roll-up doors. Moreover, the internal buttons for opening the electric locks are located not on the doors themselves, but under the center console, next to the roof control button. Since the cars in the brand images are shown with different external handles, traditional lock or button recess, a servo will be an option. The interior was primarily designed by the Chinese design studio of the Sei Concern, and it is made according to current standards, with three screens in front of the driver and a minimal set of analog buttons. The transmission is controlled by a remote control button, and the steering wheel is responsible for changing the rate of recovery. The red button on the steering wheel is the most extreme control mode, Super Sport. It is difficult to see both the external screens and the center console screen, the first because of sitting behind the wheel, and the second because of the glare with the roof down. It also takes some time to get used to using them. 
These external screens are perhaps best when using the 360 degree camera, which provides a view of both the front and rear wheels. The cabin itself, trimmed in nap leather and microfiber lining, feels a world apart from other MGs, and with the roof up is a quiet place to be, even the most even if you want to leave it anywhere but bad weather. There is also ample storage in the various cubbies and behind the seats. Our only gripe was the lack of tilt adjustment for the main cushion, which would have improved the driving position. But overall, the Cyberster is a car you'll love for its driving style, and it's the only electric roadster currently on the radar. It's a significant step up from the price expected for an MG, but on this evidence it's worth every penny.